Come on! We solved it, we fixed it, we simply unmixed it. And as for politics, we know exactly where we stand. With Roseanne! No. Uh. 70th Annual Emmy Awards were last night, and from the very beginning, we could tell that it was going to be a great show. I mean, who doesn't love a woke opening number that highlights the diversity problem in Hollywood? Am I right? All right, everyone. If you missed the Emmys last night, there's simply no getting around the fact that you missed a really great show. But we have to admit, even after watching it in its entirety, one of our favorite parts of the whole evening happened at the very beginning. That's right, you guys. The show kicked off with a hilarious tongue-in-cheek musical number that brought a ton of attention to the issue of diversity in Hollywood. The number was led by Kate McKinnon and Kenan Thompson, who were celebrating the fact that Hollywood's diversity problem had magically been solved. Now, wouldn't that just be incredible? Kate and Keenan were later joined by Sterling K. Brown, Titus Burgess, and Kristen Bell with special appearances by Andy Samberg, Ricky Martin, and John Legend. And at one point, RuPaul even showed up with the news that the diversity problem is, surprise, very much alive and well in Hollywood. Thank you very much. Hey, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, hello? Oh, we did not solve it. I see. Long way to go. Okay. Like Keenan said, there's still a long way to go before the diversity problem ceases to exist. But Kate and Keenan still did make mention of the fact that this year's nominees will be most diverse in Emmy's history. Immediately following the musical number, which in addition to diversity, was littered with jokes about Cynthia Nixon, Roseanne Barr, and politics in general, the microphones were tossed at the evening's hosts, Colin Jost and Michael Shea. Similar to the opening number, Colin and Michael touched on many of the same timely subjects, including diversity, sexual harassment, and yes, more Roseanne. Michael even sent a sarcastic congratulations to Lori Metcalf for being nominated for her role on the show. You can't lie though, even with all of their jokes, the most entertaining part of Colin and Michael's opening monologue was probably the audience reactions. I mean, just look at Chrissy Teigen. And before exiting the stage, Colin and Michael left us with a lot to think about. Like for example, how does Netflix make money when it seems like everyone is sharing one account? And more importantly though, they got us thinking about the future of television and where exactly we go from here. Well, what a relief. All right, fam, we know there was a lot packed into the first several minutes of last night's Emmys, but if you watched the show, let us know what you thought about the opening number and the monologue down in the comment section below. And then you guys can click right over here to watch another brand new video. And of course, be sure to subscribe to our channels. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your girl, Sinead DeFries, and I'll see you guys next time.